I've always been a restless kind of artist. The work that I do is very much about being a bit uncertain, attempting to solve a problem, realising that my solution is rubbish and I need to come up with something a bit better and a bit more effective. And part of that, the big part of it, is you play a lot and through play you learn. My name's Tom Wood. I'm a painter um, and I have been more or less since about 78, which is when I left college. I was very fortunate when I went to art school. There was this very strong, pure fine art background. So we learned the whole craft of painting uh, and that's kind of always held me in good stead. And that's more or less what I've taught really in my teaching. My work tends to happen in phases. At one time I did lots of portraits and I was very lucky with the National Portrait Gallery because they kind of adopted me. I did lots of heads, African heads. I was born in Africa. Africa played a big part in my life for a while. And then I started to kind of think about identity and that played into my work very strongly. And then I started to become interested in, in nature, really. That's maybe to do with children growing up, wanting to look at the natural world and wanting to celebrate it. And I'm currently going through a, an, a, another phase now, which I want of a better word really is uh, still life. Well, I've taught for, uh, in various universities and colleges and art schools. Bretton Hall College, where the Yorkshire Sculpture Park is now, awarded me an honorary professorship. And then Sheffield, Hallam University gave me an honorary fellowship. It's very strange, really, to have a, somebody stand up and do a kind of speech about you. My work has uh, been collected by both private collectors and public institutions, museums, galleries, and so on. So I feel very uh, lucky. Before you know it, you've got a kind of life and, it, and all the separate pieces fit together in a way that you never planned, but they just somehow do. 30 years later, it's still working, you're still doing it and you still know people and people are still buying your work and galleries are still showing your work and you think, that must be who I am then. <laughs> I think I'm an artist. <laughs>